So now the escrow gateway is deployed, so we can start it. So we right click it and then we go to power and we power it on. <clears throat> now let's have a look on the <clears throat> web console. We, so we just click that and we see we are on the web console. So the escrow gateway is already booting up, which takes some time as well. So once it is um, up, you see the blue screen where you can log in or you can see the current time zone and also that things. So with that, once we are at that um, stage, we can um, go and add the thumbprint um, for authentication. So just jump here. So I use um, WinSCP because it's faster for me because copy paste doesn't work otherwise for me in my lab. So you can, um, yeah, go there directly in. Um, you can go to the opt vmware um, and then um, to docker ceg so first of all here's the compose file so if you want to change some things for the compose file that's here but also there's the compose config um, yeah so there you can add the um, configurations in this case we need to go to the approved um, client and go to edit and just shortly edit here um, the certificate. In this case, I just need the thumbprint for the authentication. So let's just add that or replace that. Just click to save. So it's getting loaded. So you see it's already updated. Um, then also as I need um, the certificate and I put it that. Um, so we just, there's already a certificate there, but we don't um, use that one. We will use our own certificate. So let's just call that old with an underscore and just copy over our certificate. Um, also, there's um, an HTTPS binding file where you can go to edit. And so there you see it's the... Um, where the file is in this case it's um yeah that one and there's also a password what we have to update to match our exacting criteria so now we have um already um added the um certificate here we've added the um the settings and all that so we should be fine on going via SSH, or you can also use the console directly um, to the escrow gateway. In this case, I have already in console there, so just jump there. Lo I log in here with the root account. So I'm logged in now. Mm. So now I um, jump to the folder where the certificate is. Um, so in this case, it's opt um, VMware Docker CEG compose config. And then to make the certificate as we exchange it um, executable we have to add that here and then it's called as pnet app dot p f x So now we can um, deploy the credentials escrow gateway. So first have a look on the, um, if the containers are already running and then we will have a look on deploying them. So let's first look if the containers are already running. And as you can see, there are some containers, but there are, let's run that again to make it a bit more easy so you see they are currently not running but um, some containers are already available um so just to ensure that so we go 
so the deployment didn't work so let's just restart that one and once that is done now let in and and first um yeah redeploy the container so just let me copy paste it in so we go with docker stack rm for remove and ceg is the name of it so we just remove them um, and then we just go again but it takes some time so i think we have to wait some seconds more but we can also have a look if it's okay you see they're already gone and now we can deploy them again So just clicking there, it takes some some seconds, and then we should service LS. So we see they are now they are now running. They are there, and if we go to container LS, we see also they are now starting. Huh? So if we have a look, um, just rerun that the screen is looking a bit better. So we see the. Nginx is running and also the API, um, the two API containers are also running since some seconds. So we should be fine. So once we go back to our browser and I have somewhere in session where I already typed in the address. So we see directly the certificate is trusted because we added the new certificate and everything is looking fine here. Yeah, so this is um, now configured. Um, we have to go to the ACC and install their own certificate with that thumbprint that we mentioned there, but we can use it now directly. 